Okay, I did a little uh, tutorial on the uh, flat fill foot, which kind of works on the same principle as the rolled hem foot. And several of you had remarked that you had trouble on curves and had trouble getting start getting this started. And so I thought I'd just run a real quick video on how to do this. Um, the best way to start, I've already started it here. This is an alteration for a bride. And uh, the best way to start it is to fold it over twice and uh, I would think something around a quarter of an inch right there that looks a little big but that gives you an, a, a nice good tuck to work with there and run a couple of stitches manually and by that I mean don't insert it into the roll mechanism of the foot get yourself started run like this after you've gotten yourself started Pulled up this fold edge right here, and we're going to curve that around in to this curve right there. You just want to let it lead into it. And don't try and force this. Let the machine and the foot do the work. The next technique and the best way to do this is to run this at least half inch, half inch to five eighths off of here off of the edge of the fabric. You don't want to get too far away from it or you'll start buckling. You'll start scrunching a whole bunch of fabric. If you get off too close over here, then you'll end up having an edge like that with the raw edge showing it. Of course, that's not what we want in a rolled hem. So then you just give it a gas to get yourself started. Don't do it go too fast. You know, you don't want to do too much and just follow the curve of the fabric. If you have a tendency to go off one side or another, just guide it like this. This doesn't need to be fast. One of the ways I tell if I'm too far into the fabric, this part right here will tuck under this foot right there, like that. If it's up underneath there, you're too far over inside the fabric and what that'll do is that'll cause it to buckle and we don't want to do that okay so stick it in lift it up that's how you can always check and see where you are and by that i mean just give yourself a little tug here to make sure you haven't got a lot of fabric up in here that's buckling underneath on 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 this underneath side okay and then just gently And I keep it taut. And by that, I don't stretch it, but I want to keep it taut. I kind of want to see, make sure that I'm getting a good fold underneath here. See, I'm getting a nice, good roll underneath there so that I'm not having a problem with uh, the raw, raw hems showing. And you just finish out. the end. Uh, I've got this whole hem to do. I'm going to go here for a little bit, but I'm going to cut to the end because at the end I have a seam here, and there's another technique I use to sew over the seam. So I'm going to cut out for a minute. Okay, I'm back. Here's my seam. And what I've done is I've come in here and I've rolled this up pretty tightly almost three times, not quite, but almost, but I've rolled it up pretty tightly and how I can tell I've got a good roll on it is all I have to do is just slip my finger under there and that just almost rolls into place and it'll roll right into where I've pinned right here. The other place you want to check, there's my seam, is right here toward the end. This is where, I don't know if you can see it, but this is the back side of it and I've got a nice good roll there. I roll it so I can pull the pin out from this side because I'm going to sew right up to that point right there. And then I'm going to pull it out from the guide. So here I go into my wonderful little rolled hammer. Almost right up there. Okay, now then pull this out. But I still got the camp pin keeping everything in shape. Now I'm going to. So right up to the edge of the pin, 
always keep your needle in what, whatever you do. Now I'm going to do this manually by hand, not through the roller as I go through the seam. Right there, I'm through the seam. Yeah, I should have a nice roll here. I do. I could finish this up manually if I wanted to, or I can flip it back in. If you're doing a whole hem, just flip this little do doohickey back up in there again. It'll feed right up in there. There you go, like that. To the end. Right here is our end, right there. It just so happens I'm going to be coming back out again. Oh joy, look at that. <laughs> I ran out of bobbin thread. <laughs> oh well, it happens to the best of us. Anyway, you can see how I'm going to end up here. Uh, and that's how you end up with a hem that's already there. If you want to go ahead and, and you're doing a hem that hasn't been, it's not an alteration, this is the best way to go over seams. Unless it's a very, very thin fabric and it's not over overcast, like this one is overcast right here, uh, which makes it even thicker. Okay, enjoy.